Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this one, we're going to be, instead of doing part two from the one I did last time, I will be doing that in our next video. For this one, I'm going to cover something which I said I would do from the start, which was how to make the bot give people roles. And uh, you can even create roles, but I wouldn't see any use in that. But I'll do about uh, signing roles. Uh, the main use of this would be you might have a default role that happens when someone joins the server. So I'll show that. And then because I'm in a private server with my bot just testing, I can't show you that happening. I can show you how to do it. But then to prove that the kind of code works, I can just make a command that gives me a role, for example. Um, and then I'll, for the rest of the video, I can also show how to make it so that, for example, when someone joins your server, you send them a custom message as well or something like a, a private message. You can have your bot send you a private message. Um, like if I go down here, I think at some point, yeah, my, I have my bot like sending me commands. So there we go. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, first of all, I'll show you how to how you would do it in your case. So what you want to do is you want to um, where we have bot on, sorry, uh, where we have bot on ready here. Uh, you can also do bot on um, guild member add, which is so guild. If I've I mean, I've mentioned it in my other videos, guild is the name of a server. Wait, normally everyone in Discord calls them Discord servers, but they're actually known as guilds. So guild member. Oops, guild member add. That basically means this function is going to get called whenever someone joins the server. And then uh, it's a function and it takes in the member, which is basically the person who we're on about. So when someone joins, it's referring to that person that joined. Uh, whoops. Why have, <coughs> why have I got this? Uh, <laughs> That's fine, isn't it? Maybe. Why have I got, so why have I, hmm, anyway, sorry, um, so what we want to do here, we want to write code that happens when someone joins, uh, so what we could do is we could give them a particular role, so we can say uh, member, which is the person that's joined, dot, uh, well, no, we'll do the role thing afterwards, we'll do the message first, so we can say member dot message. Um, well, I can actually see just uh, mem member dot send. Um, you know, welcome to the server. You could write a whole thing here, like a welcome message that goes privately to them. Um, now, really, there's no proof that this is going to work in the guild member ad because I can't actually add people. Um, well, I could, but I would need to get someone ready to join. So I'll say message dot content is equal to, um, you know, uh, join, then we can run this. The difference being we can't refer to member because member is um, passed in here. We don't pass in a member. So we have to do message.member in this case down here. So if I run the bot now and just say join, you see, I get a private message up here off my bot saying, welcome to the server. Now you, you can basically get it to do whatever you want. I did this ages ago, it seems. Um, whatever you want, you can have a, a message someone. So you could have it message rules or something rather than having a rules channel that people probably will never check. At least if you private message them, they're gonna see it more likely. So that's that thing. Um, we'll leave this function here for something else. So obviously here, yeah, you could also put into the channel, the announcement channel or something you could say. Um, as well as welcome to the server, we also want to maybe, um, we'll do the role thing. So we want to store a variable for the actual role we're going to use. So we'll say let uh, member role equals. And in my server, I've got a member role, which is, I don't have it currently. It's a role here. And it's going to be the one given to anyone who joins because I can sort out permissions for a member role. Uh, whereas you can't, we well, can change permissions for the default. Well, there isn't a default role actually, it's just called everyone. Um, and as you see here, this bot, so neither me or the bot has member, okay? Uh, if I say let the role equals, and then we can say, um, we can say uh, member.guild, so the server they're in, dot roles, so it searches for the roles that are in that server, dot find, 
and we take and we say we're going to refer to the name of the server and the name uh, sorry the name of the role and the name as a string is member you have to actually capitalize it right if i put a lowercase m there it wouldn't work my role is called member with a capital m, m so that's where i put member and then we close it and now we have our variable member role um, and the benefit to having this is that now I can just say give them the member role. So I can say uh, member, which is the person who's joining, dot add role. I can pass in member role. Okay. Now, as I said, I can't I can't prove this working. So what I could do is I could copy it down here just like this, and I'll make a command that does it. So I can say let member role equal uh, message dot member dot guild dot roles dot fine. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of dots there. And then we can just say um, message dot member dot add role that. Now to check whether this works, we will go into here and we'll say join. I get a message, and now I've got member. And as you know, I didn't have that earlier. Um, let's you know remove the remove member, and I'll say join again. I'll get another message, and I've got member back. So now you can actually have that run. You know, whenever someone joins your server, you can do it to them. So keep in mind, I've done the exact same thing here as here. I've just written it slightly differently. This is so I can test it out and show you in the video, prove that it works. And then this is what you would do if you actually had people joining your server, but I can't really show that here. Um, so that works. We have a way of sending them a private message and you know roles. Um, you could also make a command, for example, um, which is giving someone a role. There wouldn't be much point in that because you could just click on them and think you wouldn't really need a bot to do that for you, to be honest. Um, though one thing is you could actually uh, create your own role uh, for that person if you wanted to. Um, if you go to here, like, let's just do it here for now. So we could say when they join, they might, let's create a new role for that person. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but the video would be uh, too short otherwise. It's only seven minutes, so I want to make it, I want to add some more content. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, message dot member whoops message dot member uh dot guild so it's the server dot create role which is a function um well it's actually a creator uh if we put this in here we can now so this is where we create our role we need to give it all the attributes of a role so the name of the role is uh well we can just say you know like we said the person's username i guess uh message dot member dot username and then it needs a well it doesn't i don't think you need to actually give it everything let's give it a color which has to be spelled the american way and then we can just pass in a hex code so let's just go you could also have a random color here let's just go and generate you know a hex code red why not um I don't know how you actually format hex codes in this. I've done it. I've done it once before in one of my old videos. Actually, wait. I can just do it on. I have something called info about me. You do. Well, let's just take this. Go back to here. Color is that. Um, but then I need to put the color. I think as a string, to be honest, because that was as a string, wasn't it? Um, And then let's say the uh, FF, see if we want a uh, red, then it is FF. So let's just go, um, let's go for green, zero, zero, uh, FF, zero, zero. So then if you see on here, actually he, want, he wants to take in a capital F as well. So uh, let's think, if we want to, uh, just want to put these as capital F. And I feel like that should work. Then we go to the next line. Um, what roles does it have? Well, uh, sorry, what permissions does it have? This is where you can put in your own permissions. It's an array. If you actually go into the discord.js website for the documentation, you can find out what roles, sorry, what permissions are here to do. And then once you've created this role, you want to give it to the person. But as I've shown you before, sometimes you don't want to run the code instantly because creating a role might take time. So you can actually do um, a then 
uh, command, which basically uh, means that it's going to wait until this thing before it is done, before it runs the next bit. So we're going to have a function which uh, takes in the role we have current, like we have just made a role, okay? Um, and then inside here, what do we want it to do? Well, we just want to add the role to that person. So we want to say um, message dot member uh, message dot member dot um, I think I have to put dot user dot username here sorry uh, message dot member dot add role just like earlier and we pass in the um, role that we take in here so let's have a test of this so if I do no dot. Okay, I currently have my owner role and I'm gonna say join. Now I have a role called member and a role called Dapper Dino, which took in the green hex code that I gave it. Um, welcome to the server, yeah. Anyway, so you could do custom role. It's basically, that, that's just showing you how to make your own role, you know? Um, yeah, you could give it permissions to create the role. So if I go to the server now and I go to the server settings, uh, and I go to roles, you can actually see Dapper Dino is now a role with no permissions, it's just default everything, but yeah, let's delete uh, the role, it's right at the bottom isn't it? Yep. Anyway, so that's how you do that, and get rid of member, whatever. So anyway, uh, this video uh, wasn't the longest video, I just thought, you know, people were asking quite a bit for Discord bot tutorials, so I thought I'd cover something which is, you know, quite important, giving people roles, it's quite useful. Keep in mind, you can put any code you want inside this uh, bot dot on guild member add you can put any code in here to run when someone joins and obviously you have reference to the person who joined so you can welcome them on their name you can do stuff with their id you can add roles you can send a picture you can do whatever you want uh, but as i say with these tutorials a lot of people are asking for them but preferably i want people to not just say make more of these it would be a lot more helpful if people are asking what they wanted to be like what they wanted the videos to be the two things i'm currently working on uh, one is a music bot thing, and the second is the finishing the Discord scrim thing, if people still want that. If no one, if, if you still want those videos like on the Discord scrim team to continue, the little finishing it off and formatting it, uh, just ask. But if no one asks, then I'll move on to the music bot and the other stuff. Uh, because I wasn't sure if many people wanted that anyway. I was mainly making it to help someone who didn't know what they were doing, really, who was, you know, having problems. So I hope that helped them. Uh, if, you know, you still want help, then I can do it. Sure, but... I still, I do have like five or six series, so I can only do one or two videos a week per series video. So, I mean, you know, I do like all the support, but, you know, try and be patient because it's quite hard to do daily videos anyway. Uh, I probably will eventually, maybe after reaching a thousand subs in how many weeks or months that is. I might start a Patreon to help with the whole, like, you know, daily videos thing. And then uh, I know it sounds a bit, well, it doesn't sound that bad, but um, most people do give uh, priority to their Patreons in terms of help. Because not everyone here needs help anyway, but when there's lots of people messaging with help, I find it almost impossible to actually help everyone and do my own stuff and do school and everything. So just trying to manage everything is quite difficult, but you know, I am enjoying it. So yeah, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. I would love that a lot. Comment what you want to see more of. Apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.